The M1150 Shredder Assault Breacher Vehicle is probably one of the most wicked-looking military vehicles in the world. Deployed generally by U.S. Marines, it was used for the first time on December 3, 2009, when Marines pushed into the Taliban stronghold, now Zad, during Operation Cobra's Anger in Helmand Province. On their way to another Taliban stronghold, Marja, 380 miles or 610 kilometers southeast of Kabul. The vehicle is a specialized one, designed to help U.S. Marines assault and secure a beach. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why M1150 Shredder is one of the most important assets for U.S. Marines. Let's get into details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The U.S. military in battle scenarios have and will be tasked to penetrate the enemy positions through a beach and create a beachhead. One of the most iconic operations of such nature was the D-Day landing. But this is not easy to do since beaches will be covered with landmines as well as barbed wires. This is where Shredder is useful, since it has attachments and gears designed to enable the U.S. Marines to wade through the defensive obstacles set by the enemy. So we can say that Shredder has a very specialized mission, but a very important one. The 72-ton, 40-foot or 15-meter long vehicles are based on the M1 Abrams with a 1,500-horsepower engine but fitted with a 50-caliber machine gun and a front-mounted 15-foot or 4.5-meter wide plow, supporting the metallic skis that glide on the dirt and armed with nearly 7,000 pounds or 3,175 kilograms of explosives. Shredder are equipped with M58 Mine Clearing Line Charge Miklik, as the main armament. It is a rocket-projected explosive line charge that provides a close-in capability so that U.S. forces can move ahead. It is effective against conventionally fused landmines and, when detonated, it provides a lane 8 meters by 100 meters. The rockets have C4 explosives to detonate the landmines. Shredder also has one 50 BMG M2 machine gun mount on top of the vehicle as the secondary armament. The gun can fire around 1,000 to 1,200 rounds per minute depending on the variant and has an effective firing range of 1,800 meters. It is interesting to note that in the 1990s, the U.S. Army decided it could not afford to continue developing complicated, maintenance-heavy vehicles for this purpose. The Grizzly program was canceled in 2001 and the prototype developed never made it to the production lines. The Marine Corps, however, persisted and funded its own development and testing. The main body of the final model of the Shredder is built on the General Dynamics chassis that is used for the M1A1 Abrams main battle tank. Pearson Engineering of the UK provided the specially designed plow and other mine clearing accessories. Shredder weighs in at more than 70 tons, and its movement from ship to shore is done by the U.S. Navy's amphibious haulers, the Landing Craft Air Cushion LCAC, and the Landing Craft Utility LCU. Shredder remains one of the world's most capable combat mine-clearing vehicles. Shredder has heavy armor, so the personnel are protected from machine guns as well as decently powerful cannon fires. Not only that, it can fire back, making it very difficult for opponents, especially infantry, to stop it. 
U.S. Marines may be moving towards more distributed operations going into the future, where large vehicles may be less desirable, but the shredder will still remain one of the most important assets when it comes to securing heavily fortified beaches. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.